Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-September 2022 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Virgo. This will not resonate with every Virgo that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Virgo, I highly suggest checking out your other signs in different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Virgo and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to be using the sound bowl to clear and set the energy. So if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume is kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what's happening for my Virgos in the month of September from now till the end of September in love and romance. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Virgo? What is the energy surrounding Virgo right now in love and romance at this time, spirit? Ooh, okay. Um, twin flame. Oh, Okay, Virgo, it's going to be one of those readings. This is a divine counterpart connection. So those of you are, who are asking if this is your twin flame, been wondering about it, here's your confirmation. Yeah, absolutely. Others of you who know this is your twin flame, you already know who this is talking about. We're going to dive deeper into this. We'll see if you guys are separated right now or if you are in sync with each other, talking to each other at this time. But they're coming in your reading now for a reason. I feel even if you are in separation, maybe they will come back. Maybe they want to reach out. Maybe they're holding themselves back from reaching out to you, Virgo. Maybe just because it's your season around your birthday, they've been really thinking about you um, and just being reminded of you, seeing how you're doing. I even feel like some of you are glowing. Um, I don't know if you guys have been taking better care of your skin. It, it looks like a dewy, glowy type of energy that's around you and that could just be your aura field right but there's something about you that is shining that is glowing that I feel your twin flame is becoming very aware of something very unique about this connection here the letter l is standing out to me um first middle last initial as in lance as in um Lynn <laughs> could mean something to someone, does not have to be the case. Maybe even someone's last name could end with an L. Weirdly, I'm picking up on for someone out there. But let's see what they want to tell you, Virgo. What do they want to say to you that they haven't said, that they've been holding back from saying? What does your twin flame want you to know, Virgo, at this time? I've never forgotten you, even though you think I have. Okay, so this is a separation reading for a lot of you. And I feel that you've been separated since July for some. Maybe June, maybe January. The J months are kind of sticking out to me. Maybe you're dealing with um, a Cancer, a Gemini, or a Capricorn, or an Aquarius. Um, but yeah, this is why I feel, I don't know, I'm an intuitive reader, so I kind of pick up on my feelings here. And what I feel even with this card is like with that glowing energy, it, it appears to them that you've moved on. Even if you haven't, even if they left you no choice but to do so, they just kind of see you as being successful, as moving forward, moving on in such a powerful way. And even if you think that they forgot about you, Virgo, they haven't. Even if they're silent, dead silent, even if they left you on red, 
they're holding themselves back a lot. Interesting. Okay, let, let's dive into this. So with the tarot, I'm going to ask, what do they think about you? How do they feel about you? What do they like about you? What do they not like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently? And what do they not like about it? And what are their highest hopes and deepest fears in regards to this connection with you, Virgo? What are they really hoping is going to happen between the two of you? And what are they afraid of is going to happen? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm. So straight up, what I already see for some of you guys is commitment issues. Um, big time here, okay? Someone doesn't feel ready to commit. Someone didn't think they want to get in a relationship. They're not ready for a relationship. But things are shifting because of their feelings for you, Virgo. It, it's... Hmm. Okay. okay, Virgo. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Wands. So this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. You could have fire in your chart. It does not have to be the case in order for this reading to resonate. So, yeah, when you guys met, because the background energy, the bottom of the deck for me is kind of like how this all started between the two of you, where was it was left off or anything, but automatically there is a fire, there is a passion, and there is still that passion and spark for you, Virgo, that they strongly have. Just seeing your pictures reignites that spark. And I feel with the Ace of Wands, you could have met through a dating app, um, Tinder, Grindr, um, Hinge, Bumble, whatever it is. And, you know, they were, they were excited to meet you, but when they met you, they were kind of shook. You looked better than the photos. You're extremely attractive. Uh, maybe you were impressed by them too, you know? And I feel from that initial, initial spark and chemistry that was there, it's still very strongly here. But maybe even what I picked up with commitment issues earlier on, they may have just been looking at this as a hookup, as something for now, as a new adventure, as a crush, but they never thought it would get to the point where it is now. And I feel, Virgo, with the Ace of Wands here, there's something recently that has sparked their interest in you again. Whether, again, they're being reminded of you because of your birthday, your season, they're seeing signs about you with the High Priestess here, which we'll get to in a second. But there's some sort of re-spark here that they have recently had over thinking of you, seeing you on social media, hearing about you. There's a new interest, I feel, with this Ace of Wands that's starting to spark from this. I kind of want to clarify this Ace of Wands. Get a little bit more specific for you guys. There could be a very big, significant tree in someone's yard. Um, front lawn, I'm kind of seeing. Um, five of Wands, Leo energy. Hmm. Okay. So for some of you where you've been in separation, right? You still had that feeling for them, but you know what? They left you no choice. You're picking up, you're moving on, you're doing you. They kind of see that you're a hot commodity, Virgo. I don't know if you've been hanging out with a lot of different people recently. You've been, you know, out and about, but now all of a sudden they kind of feel like there's a competition for you that now that there's interest in you, whether they've heard about it, they see it, um, it, it's sparking this rivalry here that, you know, it took seeing that you can move on. It took seeing that you maybe even have started to date or show interest in other people. That's making this person want to fight for you with the five of wands here. Um, you know, and for some of you too, is confirmation of whoever this is. I feel like this person has defended you before. In public, like at a party, at a social event, um, you know, someone was trying to, I don't know, step on your toes a little bit and this person spoke up and spoke out for you. Or even if someone tried to hit on you in front of them, they kind of claimed you publicly. 
But the hangman here, Pisces energy. Yeah, so they felt like they needed their time away from you, Virgo, to better understand this, to better understand themselves, why with you they feel so much more passionate about this situation than they've had with anyone else. And they've had a lot of time to think about this with the hangman. And for some of you with the hangman too, I'm kind of picking up on is that they were prepared to be single for a very long time. I think that whether they came out of a really bad karmic relationship or, you know, some people just aren't ready or down for commitments with whatever they're going through in their specific lives they really did think that this was just going to be something that wasn't going to be serious. But it, it's proven them the exact wrong here, especially with the twin flame energy. And I think with the hangman too, someone's finally waking up to that fully and surely. Something with this month is really making them realize how powerful this really is between the two of you. And they're becoming unstuck from this. So let's dive right on in. How they feel about you is the Page of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy. So, you know, I kind of am picking up that someone could be a lot younger in this situation, specifically them, but again, rules could always be reversed here. And they do feel a little bit unprepared for their feelings about you with this Page of Cups. It's something new for them. It's something that, again, even during the time you've been apart, the crush has been growing between the two of you. And they feel like they want to reach out. They feel like they want to pursue this. But if they were the ones to go in hangman mode, separate themselves, maybe that's why they're kind of holding themselves back because they don't know how to reapproach you. But, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, we see um, the page holding a cup that has a fish in it. And for me, intuitively, it gives me the message of like unexpected occurrences. Um, especially with the high priestess here, they're just constantly reminded of you, Virgo. Whether they see your name, whether they see your birthday all the time, they see things that remind them of you. They hear songs that remind them of you that they play. Or even if they try to forget it, they can't. And there's something about you, Virgo, that has touched something within their inner child. And I feel for some of you guys, you really have unblocked within them a heart chakra blockage that, again, with the Ten of Cups and what they don't like about you, maybe there is something that because of their family lives, because of what they were raised with, they never believed in the idea of marriage. They never believed the idea of love, honestly, like Especially these days, it's so hard, especially with online dating, to kind of find that connection when people have so many more options now. Um, but there's something about you that's definitely standing out, and we see that with the Five of Wands here. And if you think that they don't care, they do with this Page of Cups. And maybe what turned from fire into water, a sexual attraction has now developed into something that they care about. They care about you. Virgo, but maybe they were emotionally immature as well. They're not very adept with their emotions. They're not very open with their emotions. Maybe even for some of you guys, they come off as a little bit shy. But I do feel with this page of cups, they have something that they want to tell you from the heart. Because what they think about you, Virgo, is the star card. So this is Aquarius energy. I'm even getting someone could have like an Aquarius moon or an Aquarius rising here. But with this card, yeah, they think now there's something special about this. And I'm saying now because of the hangman that we saw recently, right? Just being stuck, stuck in their own outdated perspective of what they wanted, of what they thought they needed in a romantic relationship, what they thought would have been like a hit and run or a hit or quit turned out to be something a lot more serious. Someone could have a star tattoo. Um, but yeah, Virgo, I feel with this star card here, there's something they're wishing for. I wonder if they're wishing for you to reach out first because they're too scared to. 
But I think with the star card here and what they think about you, what they think about this connection, for sure, there's nothing that has made them feel this way. No other connection, no other person. You're very unique. You're one of a kind. And they are starting to think that there's a further purpose between the two of you because of this energy of this lingering. Your, your energy is lingering around them. And you have impacted them, Virgo. With the star card here, they're hoping that even if they were the ones to mess things up, that it's really not the end between the two of you. But again, there's still some complications about if they should try this again, despite all the feelings they have. How should they do this? How could they get you to listen? Or is it too late? But there's one thing for certain, Virgo, with the star card, you're always going to be someone that they'll remember. What they like the most about you is the high priestess. Pisces energy, cancer energy for me as a reader. You're mysterious. There's so much more depth to you than just when you they first meet you. That you could be spiritual yourself. Uh, you could have spiritually related tattoos, a spiritually related career. Um, but there's just this like magic about you that's so subtle but so profound. They could view you as a little bit shy, whoever that shy energy is for them or you. Um, that you like to be reserved. You don't open up to anyone. It takes you a while to trust. I'm kind of getting. You have to feel out the energy. You have to wait out and see what you sense from the situation before you fully become open. And it, it just really intrigues this person. It takes time to get to know you, but once they know that complexity of you, it, it's something that has been, I don't know, they, they haven't been able to see that depth within anyone else, truly. Someone could have a side part in their hair. Um, I also get that someone likes to read a lot, um, read a lot of novels, read a lot of self-help books. Um, maybe someone is a writer themselves even, right? Maybe for some of you guys, you pull your own tarot cards, you've done tarot for them. But yeah, they, they just find you to have this subtle, sexual, powerful energy. And even if you are very attractive on the outside, it's your energy that attracts them the most. It adds complexity. It adds depth. And I feel like you guys have had spiritual conversations with this person or deep conversations with this person that they still think about. For some of you guys, you've kind of expanded this person's mind and this their belief in the spiritual world, in the universe, in whatever it is you guys have had that talk about, especially with this twin flame card here. They're really starting to feel like there's a lot more of a spiritual connection that cannot be ignored, honestly. And for others of you, if that's not so much your message, the fact that you're being silent right now is intriguing them. Especially if you guys were the ones before to engage conversation, to be the first to hit them up, whatever it was. Um, the fact that you're silent right now, it's kind of making them wonder what you've been up to, what you've been doing that you haven't been showing, that you haven't been obviously talking to them about, right? They want to know what's up. They want to know what you've been up to. And if you have been hanging with anyone else, are they friends or are they something more? It's hard to read you, Virgo. That's how they view you. But it's exciting to them. Some of you are psychic. Some of you are very intuitive. And they know that you can see through any sort of facade that they try to put up or any sort of mask that they do. Someone last time you saw them or someone likes to wear like off the shoulder tops I'm seeing as well. Or maybe someone could have a shoulder tattoo or a birthmark there. What they don't like about you is the Ten of Cups. Pisces energy. Different messages for different groups of you. So for some of you, yeah, maybe the fact that you 
If you were the ones to pull away, you just thought that this person wasn't ever going to be ready to be serious, to get in a committed relationship because you're looking for something serious, Virgo. With the Ten of Cups, you want emotional satisfaction that goes both ways. And with the Page of Cups of how they feel, again, they're still very new to all this. They're still not adept in their emotions. Where as the High Priestess, even if you are an Earth sign, you have learned to handle the complexities of your emotions and to understand them. And to take chances on those feelings where this person wasn't courageous enough to do so. Um, but for some of you, yeah, it's a level of commitment that maybe they know you're expecting from them that they still feel unprepared for. Others of you, if you do have children with another partner, um, they, they find that a little bit difficult to be 100% honest with you. The fact that someone may have kids, are they ready to sign on to be, you know, the stepdad or the stepmom? Are they ready to kind of be a partner in raising your children or vice versa, right? That has been something on someone's mind. Now, for others of you, what I was picking up with the inner child with the page of cups. Yeah, um, there's something about someone's family, someone's past and family relationships that have always been a bit of a blockage within their heart. And that whole issue of trust, trusting in the feelings, trusting that there's something good that could come out of romantic partnerships, something has been hindered in that way, whether they've seen their own parents get divorced, whether someone was raised by a single parent, whether, you know, something about what they've witnessed as a child made them feel like the Ten of Cups can't really happen. You have awakened something within them that had to face that. Face whatever was unhealed within their own family, within their own childhood. That may be preventing them from getting the Ten of Cups. What they like the most about this connection is the Emperor, Aries energy. So for some of you guys that were definitely more active in this connection, that were, you know, before you guys separated, you definitely wanted to make plans, you like to wear the pants, you like to take charge, they find your masculine energy to be extremely attractive, which you have a pretty good balance of masculine and feminine energy with the high priestess and the emperor. But when you go in emperor mode, it really kind of turns them on. It shows them that you're a boss, period, in everything that you do. You like to be in control of your own career, of your own life. You are very much an independent and for some of you guys, with this emperor card of what they like the most about the connection, again, with whatever, with the star and the high priestess and now this emperor coming through, there was something for some of you that you've helped them through a difficult time, uh, through a conversation, you've kind of opened their mind to something, but you also were like a rock to them in a lot of ways. Something that they felt safe by, protected by, something that they felt was secure with you. Um, you know, you never flaked out on them. You never kind of, if you made an appointment with them or if you went on a date with them, you made sure that you were there, that you were ready, that you looked good, smelled good. Maybe you guys were the first to hit on them and they found that very attractive. And again, someone could be a lot older in this connection here, age-wise. By a few years. I'm seeing five for some reason. Maybe someone was born in 1995, 1985, whatever, right? 75. But yeah, I do feel like they're out of anyone that they've been with, they could see themselves with you more so. Now, if this was their energy, Virgo, this masculine energy that you have picked up on from the start. Um, you made them feel more empowered. You made them feel wanted. You made them feel needed. You made them feel, I don't know, like that you guys had some sort of staple between the two of you. And the, if, if they were the emperor here, they kind of liked the chase. But what were they chasing for if it wasn't going to be the Ten of Cups, right? I think they were intrigued until they really realized this could go deeper. 
Maybe for some of you, this could be a manager or a boss at your work. But there is some sort of sense, whether you or them, there's some sort of maturity here that has really impressed someone. There's someone that is serious. But what they don't like about the connection is the three of wands, Aries energy. Again, this makes a lot of sense, Virgo. Because, yeah, I, again, I feel they're holding back because they want you to reach out and you haven't yet. Even especially if they're you were the ones to last reach out and they didn't answer or again, like they were the ones to kind of dip and leave. And maybe before you were, you were chase, you're not chasing again with the emperor, right? And they're kind of disappointed by that. They don't think their ships are coming in or maybe what, whatever wish that they have for you, it hasn't happened and hasn't manifested and they're still waiting. With this three of wands, there could be distance between the two of you. It's one of my distance cards here. And that could be an issue within the relationship or within the connection. Um, but, you know, also with the three of wands, it's an energy of, for me of getting what you wanted or making all the effort to see you reap the rewards of seeing the rewards coming in. And someone feels like, you know, I've waited long enough and it still hasn't happened yet. So almost like someone's losing hope in this and keeping their distance because of the loss of hope in this, because of someone's inaction or because, because someone still hasn't made the moves to make someone feel like it's worth staying in or to work giving it another chance. What they're hoping for in this is the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I, I do feel with this that they want to be taken seriously, Virgo. Interestingly enough, even if they came off of, as first as the Page of Cups, immature, unprepared. If you're the Queen of Pentacles, that's what they're really hoping for. And that's what they're wishing for with the star card. If you feel that's your energy, feminine, earth energy, regardless of gender or sex, we all have masculine and feminine energies. And feminine earth energy is one that nurtures, one that works hard, one that manifests, one that is bountiful, has it all. And with this Queen of Pentacles, if you guys have recently connected or they've recently come back into your life, I do want to say that they're looking for something serious with you more so now than ever before. They feel like you're the perfect boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or wife. And it took time for them to really understand that. And, you know, interestingly, I'm hearing forget-me-nots, which is like a flower, but I'm seeing that with this card here, like... Right when you think that they forgot you, that all was over or whatever, they're coming back to say, no, I've always remembered you and it's deeper than I realized and I want something more serious out of this. Deepest fears is the nine of wands. Sagittarius energy. And I kind of feel this is your fear too, Virgo, especially for those that, you know, this person dipped or this person just walked out of your life or whatever you're afraid that they're going to do it again with the knight of wands that this is just temporary you know an on and off thing it's not something that you can rely on that you can trust with the queen of pentacles energy they're afraid you're not going to trust them anymore because of their past actions or reckless actions their impulsive actions i feel like with this knight of wands instead of fighting they fleed and that's something that will always remain with you about this. And if there is an issue of distance, like how can they come see you? How can they travel? How can they make the plans? It, it's always a difficult process, whether it's a really long drive or someone has to book a flight. It takes a lot of planning to make the action and to take the action forward to see you face to face. But if this is your energy, like I said, with the glowing from some of you in the beginning of the reading, again, when you moved on, you moved on and you're not looking back and you moved on quickly. You moved on fastly, especially if you have Sagittarius in your chart and you're not looking back. You're moving on to the next and they may have felt like they missed their one chance at you for going for it, but you, they waited too long. 
And now there is no going back. All right, Virgo. To see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to unfold in this connection, what is likely to happen by the end of the month, or anything else you need to know about this connection so you can make the best choice for yourself, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation. But I'm also going to pull oracle cards as well to just dive deeper into this connection and this situation. So if you still have any questions, I hope to answer them in the extended reading. And if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to that extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Virgo, I really hope that this reading has resonated with you. I hope it's provided you with clarity, healing, insight, and guidance in regards to whatever's going on in your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Virgo, very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Virgo.